can usually tell how good my vacation is going to be based on how good I pack and prepare my luggage. And I didn't do a great job with that, so it was off to a bad start. Starting from the hotel, which was actually Hilton, and I was pretty surprised because I've never had a bad experience at Hilton a day in my life. So let me go ahead and get into that. Strike number one, the prices on the website are completely different than when you actually go inside of the hotel. Strike number two, I paid to have breakfast included only for me to end up with a bug in my food and the staff acting like this was normal. Strike number three, the maid comes in the room while I am butt ass naked. They don't even have do not disturb signs. It was strike number two for me. It's the whole bugs. I don't do them. With that being said, switch locations to a new hotel, which I'm at now, and had a flood in the bathroom. So tonight is my last night in Atlanta, and I want to make sure that I make every second count. So check out these photos. Anything other than that will be me departing Atlanta and flying back in safely at BWI. Your boy got the full body do rag out. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds doing since he slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck a night, I keep the guala in my shorty bag. You know she want a mom when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy, she got her toys. Keep it coming, you a rider. It's that roll myself a day and count my figure shit. It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit. I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit. If I catch you not enough, then it's gon' be some shit. Well, you can do what you wanna live how you wanna spin what you wanna be who you wanna be we all stutter up till i die you can do what you wanna live how you wanna spin what you wanna be who you wanna be we all stutter up till i die I just run it up before I go Would you tell the world my secrets if I let you go? Feel my feelings Send an action These days no cool my age Niggas be plastic Living in the middle This shit might drive you mad Ain't it pretty me though But this life shit ain't all bad Bloody blood and murder There ain't no second chance Funny enough, I almost fell asleep. I jumped up and was like, I want to go out, have some drinks, have a good time before it's time for me to leave since this is my last night in Atlanta. So this was at Fusion Sports Bar and Grill. And the reviews pretty much already said that they be doing shady stuff, that they be overcharging your card. So I made sure that I came with cash. 
I ordered the chicken tacos. It had been about two hours. I did not get them. The manager came over. She was real nice. She even offered some free drinks, but I had told her I'm a lightweight and I had already started off with far too many drinks. So I did not take her up on that offer. She replaced the tacos. I ordered chicken. However, I got steak. At that point, it was too late to even complain or whatever because it was time to go. The waitress seemed to be pretty pushy trying to get me to pay by credit card, but I had already read the reviews, so I was not even going for that. As you can see right here, the place is a little bit empty because this was pretty much in the beginning when I first got there. By the time that I left, this place was packed to the T. Now, if you want a place to go and just have some drinks, have some hookah, I'm Edible Edna, so I didn't have to order any hookah because I'm always prepared. Now, they do have security. They check inside your purse and all that, and I was thinking for a minute, mm, am I going to make it up in here? But yeah, smooth sailing. No problems at all. Location a little bit sketchy, but to be honest, I would go back just for the music and drinks. It was well worth it. Definitely a vibe. Let's get into Atlanta's airport. Atlanta's airport is probably one of the most busiest airports that you could ever travel out of. Let's talk about if you call an Uber from the airport, how you got to walk way down some miles to get into the Uber. It is just absolutely madness. Now, the last time I was in Atlanta, it's been almost 20 years. I believe it's 18 years altogether. And I feel like a lot has changed, yet a lot hasn't changed. But, you know, for a person who may not be that used to traveling, Atlanta's airport can be really overwhelming to be honest and while people in Atlanta I think are pretty friendly the people at the airport are not or maybe they just I don't know they're not getting paid enough or something I don't know but let's get into the security checkpoint which is complete madness they had one line open and while you're looking right here it may look like the line is not that long I recommend if you have a bottle of water soda or whatever do not throw that away once you check in with your airline Make sure you hold on to that. Even when you get in the line, do not toss it. Get rid of it until you are ready to go through screening, period. Most airports only require you to be there two hours ahead of time, and that is for international travel. Yet at Atlanta's airport, they recommend that you are there four hours ahead of time, and that is for domestic, not international. And trust me, you would want to be there for to maybe even five hours ahead of time. If you are elderly or disabled, or if you are traveling with someone elderly or disabled, I highly recommend you getting airport wheelchair access. That also helps you to avoid standing in these long, treacherous lines. Come land with me at BWI. I put your picture on my mirror Start to blush when somebody says your name And my stomach is a pain See you walk in my direction I go the other way I start to stutter when I speak